tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import an image into Inkscape and begin editing it for a laser cutting project. The first thing you want to do is find a simple image. Sometimes it helps to search for silhouette or simple black and white drawing. Go ahead and right click on it, save image as, name it something that you can remember, save it to your desktop, File, Import, select your image, click Open, click OK. Drop your image on the page and zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Great. Next, make sure that the image is selected with the arrow tool. Path, Trace Bitmap. We're going to trace the image and make a bitmap of it so that we can edit it and begin preparing it for laser cutting. Go ahead and click down to 2 for the number of scans. Uncheck Smooth, Remove Background, Live Preview, click OK. Great. Now you have a copy of it. The top copy is the bitmap. The bottom copy is the original image. Delete that. Move the top copy over. Now I want to cut out the outside of this map with the laser cutter and do some artwork on the inside. I also want to put a little round hole for the keychain. You don't have to make a keychain, but I'm just using it as an example. So, the first thing I would like to do is activate a stroke paint. That creates an outline around the image. So make sure you click flat color and move this red toggle all the way over to 255 you'll see an outline appear around your image. This is where the laser cut will cut. In fact, the laser cut makes full cuts for red. Black, green, and blue are used for etching, partial burns. So as it stands now, the laser cutter would cut around this and partially burn the rest of it. Well, I don't really want to burn the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and select Fill. I'm going to get rid of the fill. No paint. Now you see the traced outline of the state of Oregon. And I have no fill. So these drawing tools over here can be used to do any type of artwork that you want inside your design. Remember, red means cut. And for this first project, anything black, we're going to etch. Great. So, what we are going to do now is make a little hole for the key ring. Don't worry about how thick the line is. We'll take care of that later. The second thing that we're going to do is I'm going to add some text. You can adjust the font by clicking this drop down menu. Don't worry about font size. Oh, no, it just happened. Don't worry about font size. Uh oh. Oop. Looks like I need to make my box a little bit bigger. There it is. So don't worry about font size until later. You can adjust that by pulling on one of the handles. So in this case, I'm going to cut the outline, I'm going to cut a hole, and then I'm going to etch the word home. Go ahead and make sure you saved your file. Just 
to the desktop as an SVG file, .svg. Great. Now you're ready to go on to the next step.